Okay, let's take a few more minutes here. Remember, I really want you working on getting those exponents correctly. Think about that. Okay, so let's try to do these problems together now. So we look at the first one. We don't have any parentheses we can really work with. It's just signifying whether I have some negative numbers <coughs> or not. So on our first example, we're going to go straight to our exponents. Tell me something. Is this negative <coughs> included with the 2 or not in this no. case? No. If there's not parentheses, then the answer is no. So th what this does not mean, this doesn't mean negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. What it does mean is negative. 2 times 2 times 2. That's the difference. Are you seeing the difference there, folks? Okay. Okay, so this is, even though you would get the same answer in this case, I need you to understand the process. This is negative, and then you go 2 times 2 times 2. So that's negative 8. Plus, how about that one? Is the negative included with the 4 or not? No. no. Yes. Look at it. Is the negative included with the 4 or not? Yes. yes. Does it have parentheses? Yes. yes. Then yes. Yeah. The parentheses is what tells you that. If it has parentheses, yeah, the negative's going with it. If it doesn't, then no, it, it doesn't. So here, this does mean negative 4 times negative 4. Look at the difference. This said negative 2 times 2 times 2. This one says negative 4 times negative 4. That's the difference. The parentheses includes the negative or it doesn't. So on our answer here, are we going to get a positive or negative? Positive. positive. Definitely positive. How much? Six. And then plus one. 1 to the fifth. What's 1 to the fifth? One. One. Yeah. That's kind of a nice one. Now we're down to the addition subtraction from left to right. We're going to do negative 8 plus 16. Those have different signs. You will be subtracting, keeping the sign of the bigger number. That's going to give you 8, eight. eight plus 1. 9. No problem. Get 9. How many people got 9 out of that? Good. Fantastic job. Okay, next one. Tell me this, is the negative going with the 3 or not? Yes. 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 Notice how it's in the parentheses, right? Yes. So this one is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times, it carries with it every time when it's in the parentheses. That's the difference. If it had been like this, look at, look at the board right now. If this, if I change this problem, right now this is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. If I did that, it'd be negative 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Do you see the difference? And that would change your sign. This one right here would be negative 81. The way I had it originally is going to be positive 81. Did you get positive 81? Yes. Good. Then we have a plus sign. Then we're going to figure this one out. How much is negative 3 squared in parentheses like that? 9. nine. nine. Positive 9. Good. And then minus, how much is that? 27. Yeah. So notice it's not in parentheses, it's just minus 3 squared, or 3 cubed is 27. We'll add these things up, we'll get 90. 90 minus 27, we can do that. Perfect. Would you raise your hand and feel okay about doing this with the exponents? Good, okay, that's fantastic. We're going to start adding a couple more things on there right now. Yeah, Jeff. Um, I got a question. The sure. thing where the uh, negative has to be with the, if it's in the parentheses, you count it as negative 2 times. Will that ever not happen at the beginning? Because, like, that one says negative 3 to a third. Like, I know it's not in parentheses or anything, but what if it was? Then would it be a negative 3? Or uh, I'm not. Like, does, not the, does the negative 2 to a third always start at the beginning, or can it be found, like, in the middle of the problem? Oh, I see what you're saying. You mean without the parentheses? Yeah, like how that's, do you tell? Yeah, that's actually kind of what you have happening right here. If you picture that, if you have yeah, the parentheses. Yeah, you don't have the parentheses, so it's not being included with yeah, that. So that's really kind of what you have right there. I know that we say that's a that's a negative and that's a minus. We yeah. say it differently, but it's the same idea. That's yeah, that was good question. Now, like on the exponents, like on the problem we're working on, say if that was the first number. If it was negative three to the fifth or to the third, yeah, you'd always know it's a negative number. Sure, because it's an odd number. Right, because you have an odd, odd number odd of negatives. Exponent. Right. Okay. And that's what I was saying up here. In this case, that this is kind of a weird case, right? Because 
whether or not you have parentheses around that, you are going to get negative 8. Are you with me on that? Right. Whether or not. Now, I want you to understand the concept of why this is the way it is, but if you have an odd, that makes it a little bit easier. Where people screw up is this, this even one, whether you're not having the parentheses there. Right. That's the one. So, good questions, everybody. Any other questions before we go on? All right. Let's start building these problems up a little by little. Remember, they're not going to get any harder. They'll just get a little bit longer. Just a, a little bit more steps. That's it. Maybe that is harder, huh? Anyway. Okay, I'm going to do one with you. I'll have you do one on your own. That's pretty much how this is going to work for the rest of our day today. So I want to show you a couple techniques, and then we'll practice them, just like that throughout the rest of our, our time. So on this one, we're going to do our PEMDAS, our order of operations. Can you see the first thing that we're going to do? Good, okay. So we're ignoring the rest of it. We're looking right here. We're doing the 5 minus 8. How much is 5 minus 8? Good. Now, here's what I can let you do, all right? If you, if you like using the addition rules and you want to change that back to the plus negative, if you don't really want to write the whole step, because that's annoying, right, writing the whole problem over again, why don't you just do this off to the side? Since you're, you have a mini problem here, just write it off to the side. Five. How do we change minuses? Plus. Good. One sign goes to two different signs. That's how we change that. Just figure out that part. We know that's negative 3. And then write the problem around it. And that makes it so you don't have to write at least the whole step and you have that little piece of information that to help you out. Because we know the addition rule is very nice for us, right? We like to do that. So here, do you see the process I'm doing? Are you guys all right with that? So we go, okay, just do it off the side. You, you don't have to write under it. Do it off the side somewhere where you're getting that addition rule down. We go 5 plus negative 8, that's negative 3. And then we write everything else around it. We have 3 out front plus negative 4 minus 7 at the very end. How many people understood exactly what I did there? Good, all right. Can you tell me the next thing we're going to do? Good. Good. We do 3 times negative 3. We would check for exponents. We don't have any. So 3 times negative 3 gives us how much? Negative 3. Yeah, negative 3. Okay. So we've done the multiplication. Now we keep on going. We're going to do what? Good. Right. We're down to addition subtraction from left to right. Negative 9 plus negative 4. Hey, everybody, how much is that? Good, yeah, same sign, add them together, keep the common sign. We've done this for a while now, right? We've done this for like three weeks now. So this is great. Okay, negative 13 minus 7. We might want to change that one. Instead of negative 13 minus 7, we can write this as negative 13 what? Plus 7. Plus 7. One sign to two different signs. We have the same sign. We'll add or subtract there. Great. How much? Negative 20. Negative 20 is the answer. Wait, one more time? On where the 9 is at? 9. Yeah, you know how the negative 4 is in parentheses? Yes. And the 7 is next to it? I would have thought that you would have multiplied the 4 by 7. Okay, that's a good suggestion if that was a negative. But right there, that's a minus. The only way you'll ever see that it's a negative is if I had done, I want you to see the difference here. If I had done this, do you see that that's multiplication now when you have those parentheses? Right, right. If you don't have that, if it's negative 4 and then you see the minus, well, it's not saying to multiply right now. Well, negative 3 and the negative 3, they're like, Look at the difference though. Three is right next to the parentheses, and the negative has the parentheses around it. Okay, that's the difference. The seven isn't. The seven <clears throat> isn't in parentheses. This is not a negative seven. If I wanted to say, that's why I've been so at you guys about putting parentheses around those negatives, right? 
is saying, I want you to show that that's a negative 7. If I wanted to say a negative 7, I would have parentheses around it. And then it would be multiplied. But the way it is right now, it's not being multiplied. The only way that this would be written is this. That means negative 4 times negative 7. This. These things are exactly the same thing. But these two, that means subtract. I know it's, it might be a little confusing because we're, we're grouping things different. These are the same, and these are the same. These mean multiply, those mean subtract. It's all about the parentheses in that case. When negative 4 minus negative 7, you would subtract 2 to find plus, so is there negative 7 or no? It's not negative 7, it's minus 7. So that, that sign right there, that's not a negative. That's a minus. It's the same as doing that. That's not a negative. That's a minus. We have the same thing here. That's a minus sign. That's a minus sign. The only way I would say it's a negative is if I had it in parentheses. I need to go on, see me after class, if you should don't get that, okay? Uh, so moving on to the next one, I want you to try a few on your own. Work slowly through them. You don't have to rush on this stuff. We get time. Thank you. 